Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. Two car, only Sarah intros in a row. Um, I am waiting to go into my 38 week ultrasound appointment. Um, we're gonna find out if this little baby has moved or not. Um, and that's like the main goal of today. Um, obviously get just like have a normal checkup, check his heartbeat, all that good stuff too. Um, but after today, we should really know more um, about how labor and delivery will look like for us. So I will update you as soon as I know. Pepsi's popping. Did I get it on my back? No. Okay, it's just on my hands. I don't know why they both bursted. <laughs> Sarah's making dinner. It's a beautiful pop, beautiful lady, beautiful belly, beautiful dinner. Um, should people go vote? November 3rd? People should vote. November 3rd. Even, we forgot like two days in a row. We'll go vote. What's your plan? What's your plan? Go vote. 10.5 many people voted, including us two. Yes, already. And the election Eve, is happening. And when Eve turns 18, she's getting a vote. She's 18 in dog years. Here's a delicious dinner. Some squash. Zucula, zucchini, delicious sauce, pasta. These are being turned into banana <laughs> bread. Banana bread. They're, they're getting, they, they got to get to get. Sarah doesn't know because she's still putting the vlog up and it's like 6.30 because she was at the doctor for like 100 hours mm -hmm. and then dinner took forever to cook because she's the best. But something just released on YouTube an hour ago and I can't wait for all of us, including you, because anyone who's watching this is going to stop watching this, unsubscribe to our channel and go watch this video. Oh, we have to, we will give a, a baby update. Yes. That will happen. So don't leave yet, I guess. Phil did a TEDx talk about doing what you love. Time to go watch this. We'll be back. You should go watch this right now. Eve messed up my hair. And Sarah has requested to finish, since we're staying home tonight, to watch Bly Manor. I'm requesting that. But she requested to watch it in our room. Which, if you haven't realized, we don't have a TV in our room. So that means I'm going to take this part, put it in our room on our dresser. And I have to dig our Apple TV out, but it's going to be, I told her it's going to be scary. It's going to be spooky watching Bly Manor in our bedroom, but we're also going to get ice cream. And we made a deal with ourselves that since it's already 7, 19, we're going to make two lists, things we're going to get done every single day between now and... Um, the potential C-section, the potential not C-section, because we have to give you the update, but time to uh, deal with this. I thought that was going to be much more work, because we used to put the Apple TV down there, and I forgot that I put it back there. 
which meant it wasn't a big to do. It was just unplugging this and pulling it off this, so. Wow, look at what a peach Peter is. Wait a minute, was that just, was Ooh. that just Jim Halpert? Orlando stinks when it comes to food. <laughs> I'm just being straight up honest. Food? Yeah. I think it's a great foodie town. Well, it's just not Chicago. No, certainly is not. But we what Republic want. Came out <laughs> One Republic. We want. We want ice cream. So we're thinking about getting ice cream. We're not thinking. We, I am going to Publix after we give you a little baby update. Mm -hmm. After I tell you that One Republic came out with a song that's really good. Check it out. We'll put the link down below. It's in that new, like, really sad looking Disney Plus movie coming out this Friday. The one I, we want to watch. Okay. About the boy who had cancer. Oh, yeah. From the makers of Five Feet Long. Anyway, um, our baby's big. Baby is big. Projecting eight pounds, four ounces. But guess what, everybody? He flipped. I don't know if it was the two days in the pool, did some handstands. There's, I, there is enough room for him to move back. I feel like I back. stopped worrying about him flipping, and then he flipped. Yeah. But yes, I do have enough fluid for him to potentially move back. So, so we're keeping our scheduled C-section. We're still... It's soon, but... Um, Basically, we have to make the call. The doctor said that because he's in the 90th percentile, he's that big, that they still would like to offer us the C-section if we feel more comfortable. Like they said to anybody. Like yes. anybody with a baby in the 90th percentile, their, their doctor group offers um, an elective C-section. Yes. Um, so we just have to mull that over we have a little bit of time yeah we've kind of set some benchmarks like let's mm -hmm. see how we feel physically and emotionally here yeah. physically and emotionally here we have our next doctor's appointment set so we're like we definitely need to know by then probably right so that's that's the thing is like you know you get a plan you kind of come to terms with that plan and then things but now change. that he's head down like if she gets these we call them braxies the brax and hicks mm -hmm. if she gets those and they're like four minutes apart like we're like those might be real contractions, not braxies. Yeah. And so, like, especially with him being head down, he's low enough where my doctor doesn't think he'll flip, but he still could. Um, but basically, yeah, just like for like, there are health risks with a bigger baby delivering naturally. Um, but now and that we so, know he's flipped, like we could be at Epcot or Animal Kingdom this weekend. So we should put the bags in the car yeah. and not just packed uh, in the house. But you could like we could be out and about at Disney World and your water could break. Yeah. That could very well happen. It would be awesome so, if there was like a um, big dramatic water break. I'm trying to think. There really wasn't How is it? He's anything. good. He's healthy. He's healthy. Looking good. Strong. Oh my good gosh. We, like, I'll put in some pictures, but like we compared him to Violet when she was born. And it literally, like, if you told me that was Violet's um, ultrasound, ultrasound I, would, I would believe you. I would believe you. Um, so yeah, it was good. We're going to play it by ear, do some thinking. Um... And then, but worst case, we have it scheduled, and we'll just go with the go with the flow. Yeah. So we're gonna I'm gonna run to Publix really quick because someone wants some ice cream, and then we're gonna watch some Bly Manor in our bedroom. Like it's not gonna be really scary. Eve's with already these a, velvet curtains. Right. If you have velvet curtains in your bedroom, you're bound haunted. to be a ghost. Yeah, <laughs> and Eve like is confused because we've never we haven't had a TV in our room. Not in this room not ever. Not in this room ever. And we, we've gone through plenty of stages of not having a TV in our room at all. Mm -hmm. Really? And since so, our first apartment. And we only did that because I slept, well, we really both slept alone. Yeah, when I was working overnight. So you had like a uh -huh. TV since you were alone all night. But like Eve is like out. Like she's like, wait, it's bedtime. And yeah. so she like like barked when to get on the bed. And she's on her side snoring. Yeah. Um, and so it's yeah. only 8 o'clock. We situated like our next couple of days of what we have to get done. Feel good, feel prepared. Because someone likes lists. We both like lists. But we do. You like making lists. I like the list just to be provided. And I like checking things off the list. I even like. if I've already done the thing I put on the list, yeah. I check it off. <laughs> we don't have pumpkins yet, but I think I'll pick one up after. Depends on when James arrives. But I love that they have the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown, on there. Well, kind of look to the ball goes when you're at Publix. Jinx myself. Sarah, and we're out of our Pepsi fix, but Sarah's got that Pepsi fix need every day. And, well, Publix is good when they got deals. And, of course, this one time when I thought I was going to be in and out, grab two little pints of ice cream. 
I call Sarah just to confirm her flavors, and she's like, ooh, check if there's a Pepsi deal. Now I got no cart, and I gotta carry three 12 packs with me. But that's a good Publix trip. Okay, so I'm home now, and before we get started with Bly Manor, we went with the Ben & Jerry's Almond Milk Non-Dairy Peanut Butter Half-Baked for Sarah, and I did the Coconut 7-Layer Bar. Ooh! Oh no. Oh dear. Oh, we are naughty. We finished, we watched, I think, four episodes. No, three episodes, I think, of Bly Manor, but we only have one left, but we're, we're saving it for a different day. So today's Wednesday, October 14th. Ooh, today's goes by Gandhi. I will not let anyone walk through my mind with their dirty feet. Dig it, Gandhi. I'm proud that we watched. I didn't that last episode. I did not think we were watching. I know, but like it the, just like started and we just like didn't say anything. Well, <laughs> the thing like, is what? like, it's the second to last episode of the season is a bit of an origin story. By a bit of an origin story, the entire hour long episode is an origin story. Mm -hmm. And we thought it was. I and we didn't talk about it, but I just think we both thought it was going to be like a five or a ten snippet. minute yeah. snippet of that was going to be like a really quick hashed out origin story that like. I thought we'd both be like, okay, let's go to bed. Now that mm -hmm. this, we we saw that origin story, that ended up being the whole hour. Yeah, no, but it was it really good. adds a good level of like understanding and depth to the series. Yeah, that, I dug it. Yeah, it's not a spoiler. No. It's just, I mean, if you didn't know, you were gonna learn more about the background. You do. Alrighty, friend. How is it already Thursday tomorrow? How is it one in the morning almost? I do not know. We're gonna watch New Girl while we go to bed. So weird <laughs> having a TV in a room. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it yet. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>